from Sun Life of a Kenyan Youth in Germany. To man stealing a gun from police officer. What is Kenya exporting? Kenya has produced and exported housemates. Kericho Jonzins take it to the streets. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Terry. Many of you have heard about job opportunities in Germany. And the president of Kenya says that there are much needed labor to be exported in Germany. And I just want to guys to hear what President Ruto had to say about this. One of them is the agreement we just signed. This agreement will lock, will unlock, uh, sorry, uh, 250,000 job opportunities for young people from Kenya. That is a bilateral agreement between Germany and Kenya. It, it is a win-win. You know, there is a big labor, labor deficit in Germany. There is a big lab, labor oversupply in Kenya. How do you benefit Kenya? By giving them the opportunities in here. And how do you remove the deficit here by uh, leveraging Kenya? So Kenyans, do you think the same opportunities and job can also be created here back at home? Even the Germans were not happy with the president of Kenya and even they held a citizens' assembly. And this is what a Kenyan living in Germany had to say about this issue. The Germans had their own citizens' assembly on X space. Topic of discussion, you guessed it, Kenya. Because of one human being, even the tweets. This tweet is talking about language barrier. And if you are to come into Germany, you have to have the language. Do you have it? You can't get a job. Another gentleman is talking about the fact that um, over 3 million people do not have jobs in Germany as we speak. So you want to bring in 250,000 other people. I completely understand their logic. Selling us unicorns while some of us have not even ridden a horse. These lies and madness also give an opportunity for the racist people to come and chime in on all this. And how much they dislike us. They took our jobs! They took my job! They took their job! They took our jobs! Oh, yeah, they're down! They took our job! Absolutely embarrassing. And rather than take responsibility, as usual, they create distractions and tell us of how Gashaks didn't come for service and even put an arrow showing an empty seat. We are the talk of the town. Forget the town, the world. In an international level scale. How dumb we are! Because of just one person. Schooling him and educating him on how the policies of immigration work on the, in their country because he clearly doesn't know. He advises his advisors on how to advise him. No need to even ask that question. As the distractions continue, Adani have been given a contract to develop high power voltage lines. Many of you have heard this saying that says that when the deal is too good, think twice. Even the Kenyans who are, who are already in Germany, they don't want to be in Germany. And uh, a few days ago, the president went to uh, Germany and uh, the Kenyans there, they had to confront the president of Kenya. And this is what our people had to say. Nobody wants to stay in Germany. I will be very clear about that. I'm a Kenyan. I've been here 13 years. I'm working here really hard. I've studied the language. They take away one year of our education when we come here, when they try to compare our education system. That you spoke about education. They take one year away. With my credentials from Kenya, I am a gymnasium material. But they take one year away, send me back to school for one year to study German, uh, English, German, and, and, um, and, and, and mathematics. Yeah? I did that purposely to show them that we Kenyans, we are very smart. That with even a standard eight or seven um, um, qualification, you can still come here and learn. And we have engineers, we have... We have, you know, nurses, we are very educated, we are very smart, we are hustlers, and we know how to hustle everywhere. Yeah? So, um, we really need the education that they give us our equal education. If I've learned for 12 years in Kenya, I have learned is the same as the education here in Germany, which says it's 12 years, 
they should give me what belongs to me so that I can also be in the market. So I would wish to see as a German recruiter, Kenyan German recruiter in Germany, that we get equal opportunities. Moving on to the next video. We all know that Kenyans are the most educated people, the most intelligent people, and the most hardworking people. But yet they're being exported to go and do jobs that are not according to their standards. Listen to what Senator Kajuang had to say about this. South Africa, the education system has produced and exported Elon Musk. He's now the richest man in the world. The Indian education system has produced and exported executives of tech companies globally. Kenya has produced and exported housemaids to Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Mr. Speaker, this morning, the CS for Labor brought here a redacted summary of Kenyans who have acquired jobs in the recent job-seeking spree that the president has been on. Out of that entire schedule, Mr. Speaker, 60% had secured jobs as housemates. Housemates. We are exporting housemates. We are manufacturing housemates. Mr. Speaker, what kind of education system is that? South Africa, the education system has produced and exported Elon Musk. He's now the richest man in the world. The Indian education system has produced and exported executives of tech companies globally. Kenya has produced and exported housemaids to Saudi Arabia and Qatar. It is a big shame. That is a state of education in this country. Mr. Speaker, I believe that if there is a crisis that we need to deal with today, it is the education crisis that is manifested in strikes at all levels from primary to secondary to universities. A university funding model that does not make sense, Mr. Speaker. East to West, home is the best. I showed this video of our Kenyan youth who went to Germany for greener pastures, but her life ended up going south. Take a look. November. Five years. Five years. Ume Na hakuna mahali, auna nyumba, auna address. No address at the moment. Kenyans, do you see how our people are being wasted every day? Instead of taking them to Germany for work, why don't you create the same opportunities here? Because you have enough resources and you have everything that you need to take this country forward. And let us just be honest, we all know that Germans are the most racist motherfuckers. Ulukona miyakangapi? Let us take a short break. You're gonna be right back. Oh, 
This man is awesome. Oh my god. Let's welcome a broski Albis Deli. We all know that one man who, if he's not lying, he is flying. The Germans decided to inject by disagreeing with President Ruto about the 250,000 blah 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 job opportunities in Germany. Listen to what uh, the village at had to say about this. Why should the head of state in the person of President William Samoy Ruto tell us before he goes to Germany that he is flying out to Germany because the Germany's chancellor promised Kenya 200,000 jobs. That's why he's flying out to go and sign that contract. While he's in Germany, he's interviewed by Dushvelle TV. And there in Germany, he says, the bilateral agreement we have signed today with the German government is it will create an opportunity for jobs up to 250,000 of Kenyans will get these opportunities. Please tell me, why would the president lie that within the bilateral agreement, there was a clause saying 250,000 Kenyans will go to Germany. Then short, shortly after, BBC writes the same information and says that we at Kenya have signed an agreement with Germany for 250,000 Kenyans to go and work in Germany. Germany Ministry of Interior and Communication sends a response to both the BBC and the, 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 the Dutch, the Dutch Welle TV interview of President William Ruth and says, this information is false. We do not have any clause for quarter number or anything like that in the agreement. Well, Kenyans are being exported like cabbages to go and work in racist countries. Even back at home in Kenya, our young people, the Kenyan people are suffering. The Genesis of Kericho, they decided to go and protest and some of the leaders are saying that if they want to be employed and get job opportunities at Aaron Cherio's office, they have to remove their underwears. Take a look at what Kericho young Gen Z's ladies had to say. Haman Manyora decided to inject by asking Kenyans and requesting Kenyans to wake up from their deep sleep and take a look at what is really happening around them. And this is what he had to say about job opportunities and exporting our people to racist countries like Germany for job opportunities. You can't blow away all the jobs and then purport to be taking Kenyans for jobs outside. You be in the village and let your car break down. See if you can get anybody to manage your car. Why don't we organize to have young men do some little automotive engineering? Let your electricity have a problem in the village. See if you have somebody to do it. There's nobody. Let you do a house at home, you want to do plumbing. See if you'll get somebody to do plumbing. I was trying to do some work and some man had also died, a big man. The few people who could do a little plumbing were all there. I was left hanging. These are jobs in this country. We talk about, we talk about vocational training. We are just jokers. Even if the boys try to learn masonry, carpentry, building, what have you, there is nothing they will do because if there is a CDF project, this is a constitution CDF, if we are building classrooms in a local school, 
The big contractors from I don't know where will come and, 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 and do that class. Why can't we have policies that these classrooms are done by local boys and girls who have got those polytechnics? Jobs, jobs abroad. What jobs are you talking about? Kenyan corrupt regime under the leadership of Ruto has affected Kenyans mentally and psychologically to the point of this man went and attacked a police officer with a panga, took his gun, fired a few shots before he was arrested. Take a look at this story on how things unfolded. So I can't know you as Gary. Akua. Akua nini. Akua. Akua tayari. Akachukua nini bunduki. Akuchukua bunduki. Akamukata na nini. Akamukata na panga. Wakichwa. So na kukimbia. Akarusha rizazi zote zikaisha. Tukakimbizara na yeye. Paka na uko kwa buzi. So hile rizazi zikaisha. Tukamuchukua. Nikaanguka na yeye. Kutoroga. Ndiyo azikari, yu azikari alikuwa peke yake. Uyu mwingine mwenzaki alikuwa na ye sasa ndiyo akakuja. Wakaanza kurushania nini risasi. Nem sa Lilian Monini. I work at Best Care Hospital as a nurse manager. And today around 2 p.m. we received a patient. He was bleeding so profuse. So the doctor was on duty, took over the emergency. And we did uh, stitching to him to arrest the bleeding and I think right now the patient is doing okay. And that's not all guys. Even this man decided to call the president while he was in his tour in Germany looking for the 250,000 jobs for Kenyans and telling him that he should come back. When he comes back, he should come and launch the Kapsabet High School. Listen to this conversation between this man and the president of Kenya, Ruto. Hello, Olya. I am Mrs. Naseoma. Nilikuwa natembea hapa Kapsabit nikapata kuna project. Kuna project kubwa sana hakuna mtu amelunch hata sijui wanafanya nini hakuna mtu ameona kabisa. Wanapita tu wa launch na iko hii si iko kwa photo map achenda kuna gate hapa kubwa nataka ukitoka chama ni ukuche straight to launch William eh. Kuja wewe mwenyewe usitume mtu hii ni project yako hii ni kubwa kabisa inakutoshea. Hey, sawa William, ni, ni akuinua mama mboga, umeku shua ukitoka chama ni ukuje. Sawa, kongoi faya, wa, ni meakushikia, wakuna mutu watalonji. Ha, kongoi faya. After all these incidents, I'm asking myself, are Kenyans being manipulated? Take a look at what our Kenyan sister had to say about the manipulation of and the PR of our president. This is where everyone is going to be like, ah, uh, what are you talking about? Are you fucking crazy? I need you to stay with me for a moment, okay? Think about it like this. When you watch something every single time and you see a certain narrative, you tend to change your mind and be more susceptible to accept that narrative as it being true, right? Okay, so the reason why Ruto became president is because he created this new persona of I love God, I am all about God, and I am going to be chosen because of God. And, you know, I'm a sinner and you can relate. Okay. I was like, if you are without sin, I want you to be the first person to cast a stone Whatever that part of the Bible says. I was like, oh my god, this is the chosen one. They've accepted you. But rather, you have accepted the devil. You see all these interviews of him portraying. Right now, after he's being the president, he's done. There was a whole public outcry. People have gone on the streets, and they have marched, and they have protested, and they were met with a lot of violence. And he comes out there, and he stands in front of people, and he says, I will not allow this type of behavior. Not for him, not for Baytown, but you know what he said. That's not for you, God. Leave you. He goes back and he thinks. And he's like, oh my God, that made me look terrible. I need to rephrase my wording so they can take me back. So he goes back, he comes back, and he speaks again. People have woken. They know you. They see who you are. The mask, the blindfolds, it's all out. Then what does he do? <laughs> again. The lies, the lies, the lies, the lies. Not only Kenyans in Kenya are tired, but even Kenyans living in Germany are tired. Even to the point of they decide to deport the president back to Kenya while they are eating roasted meat. Take a look. Ah, I need it. It's now that we are going to Germany. Ah, hmm. We are going to. Hmm. Don't you remember who was at Oko when we were Oh, I am going to go to Germany. I am going to buy a Eh? Good 
is amedipotiwa amesema watu warudi tukamdipot na then mtafute state house ama kwa dege juu sababu anakaa kwa dege juu wili kule nyama ni none nyama ya jamani we usicheze na hii ha Luto back home <laughs> my fellow genzies and kenyans at large the last video that i want to show you guys today is very heartbreaking but due to the long hardships that we have faced as a people as a country and as a nation nothing can break us and we are fearless listen to what this man had to say of how we are being played not only by our own people who look like us but even the racist colonizers listen to this Good morning. I'm doing some gardening and something just hit something just hit me. You know what? Kenya is not a country. Kenya is a corporation. And the corporation is called British East Africa. And the aim of the corporation was to extract as much resources as much money as much minerals as much labor as much wealth as they could from our motherland and take it back to britain now the reason it was renamed to kenya was just political but the corporation remains and it gets even twistier when we were fighting for independence it was not even the africans fighting for independence no It was the British settlers fighting to detach from Britain so that they could own all the wealth in Kenya. And the Africans was just the, the the struggle for independence was just Africans was just used as a decoy that you know what Africans are fighting for independence. No no no, it was the settlers who wanted to control their own wealth and detach from the British uh from uh, the motherland UK. They had seen the success of the settlers in the US, they had seen the success of the settlers in South Africa, they had seen the settle, the success of the settlers in uh, Australia and that's what they wanted for Kenya. So when the time we got independence, it was them getting independence from the UK. We as the Africans, you know, we just slaves in this system. We either work for the system directly for working with the Kenyan government or you work for other corporations that the mother corporations that the mother corporation British East Africa has allowed to work in Kenya and if you work for other corporations then you pay a tax to the mother corporation and whatever you do if you're generating any income within this corporation you have to pay Mimi nataka niwaulize unipigia kura 2027 Muko tayari jameni kushirikiana na mimi tupeleke hii Kenya mbele <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, you didn't say that. You don't give me.